Hi, and welcome back to your weekly inspiration with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. So today is December 17th. It is the cold, full moon, and I am in the cold burr of Chicago, home for the holidays. So I want to share with you some really special energy and tell you some announcements, as well as give you your message for this week. So let's get started. First, we're going to start with our, our prayer and then we'll move into our message this week and our mantra for this week is coming from the messages from the angels and our message will come from the goddess cards as well as our weekly inspiration from the tarot so let's go ahead and take it to prayer I'm holding my citrine today because it's all about this energy of this full cold moon in Gemini and what that means is communication how are we talking and being in the world? And so it is from this place of connecting to the full moon, to connecting to the rejuvenation and regeneration of this beloved crystal of citrine, as well as this time in the ye of the year. I am connected to the all, the source, the higher Holy Spirit self that is all that there is. And as I know that we take these breaths as we listen and then we allow, we are hearing exactly what we need. So I know that this time, this full moon is calling forth a divine blessing in all of our lives. I know we are being inspired, re-energized, renewed, recharged, and refreshed for a new beginning for the new blessings of 2014. So I call forth the blessing of our mind, body, spirit. I call forth the blessing of our, our internal organs, of our, our bones, of our DNA. I feel a blessing coming on from the inside out. And so I'm just blessing it all, calling it good, calling it great. I bless our homes, our modes of transportation, our divine work, whatever it is we do in the world. I bless our families and our friends and our loved ones, those who are still with us and those who have passed. I bless it all, calling it good, knowing that this is the reason and the season for giving and receiving so arms open wide arms open wide to call forth a blessing for each and every one of, the, of, of us who are here gathered listening to this video watching this video I know we are open to receiving the blessings of the divine universe we are money magnetized by this beloved and powerful full moon knowing that we are worthy and deserving of all of the good that we are who we are and how our life is. What a blessing it is to be alive. I take this breath in gratitude and release it knowing all is well and only getting better each and every day. I bless you. And so it is. So, wow, I was feeling that prayer today. So what a great space to be in. And you know, this really, the energy of this full moon and I'm home for the holidays, spending some time with close loved ones and family, it just re-energizes my mood. The sun has come out in cold in Chicago. Um, I've got a little bit of a sniffle, but all is well. And so let's get into our message from the angels. Now remember, the messages from the angels today is going to be our mantra message. So let's see what our mantra message messages what do we need to be paying attention to today with this full moon what's going to inspire us and it's really all about communication especially being in Gemini Gemini is all about communication so where can we grow where can we expand where do we need to release and what do we need to hold on to so first card we get is Bethany when you take good care of yourself everyone else benefits so give yourself a relaxing treat massage sea salt bath or pedicure take care of yourself who is going to take care of you if you're not doing it and then we get Archangel Gabrielle so this again about communication you have an important life purpose involving communications and the arts please don't allow your insecurities to hold you back I will help you so like I said this full moon is all about communication and then of course we get you are a spiritual teacher you have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission so I know I am right on point with this I've been feeling this amazing energy um, these last few weeks of the year and I know I'm just shifting into something bigger so I know as I'm shifting I know everyone is that 
listens and watches these videos. So let's see what the goddesses have to say. And you know, I like to use the goddess cards on the full moons because the energy of the moon is a feminine energy. And so the goddesses are always giving us their divine counsel, again, because this feminine energy of the moon being in the sign of Gemini is also that communication. What are you saying? Are you saying what you need to say? Or are you holding back? This is the time to clear out the old and embrace the new because we do have the winter solstice coming on Saturday the 21st. So it's going to be time for rebirth and rejuvenation. So what do you want to manifest? So the first one we get is Sekhmet. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength reoccur uh, assures a happy outcome. So trust your strength and power. Trust and know that you are stronger than you think you are. And then we get green Tara. Start delegating. Ask others, including myself, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. This goes back to that nurturing card that we got from the messages from the angels. And then we get High Priestess, Diana, your divine knowledge, you have divine knowledge that you can help others through your spiritual teaching. So again, we've got a very, and that's why I picked three cards with the messages today because it is the full moon. I usually only pick one, and it's been repeated here. So your spiritual knowledge, what are you growing into? What have you aligned yourself with? Are you living in a net integrity? Because if you are, then you're receiving lots of amazing blessings right now. So let's see what our tarot has to say. And we can finally then get to the announcements for this week. So let's see. The tarot are talking. I can hear them. This full moon is very powerful. I feel, I feel the energy and its pull is very strong. Okay. Wow. We got some wonderful cards. So blessed. Yay, and I got my repeat of my favorite number, which is number two. So the first card we get is the Two of Cups. So this is all about love. Again, with this full moon, we have to recognize that we have to be in love and approval of ourselves in order to love and approve another. So if there's any place where you're holding any judgment, you have to allow yourself to see yourself in that person's shoes. So that's what real love is about, is acceptance and allowance. And so that's what this card is saying. And again, with this full moon energy, it's really strong with what you're saying because that's what it represents, your throat chakra as well as that communication of Gemini. So if you feel like you're getting any you know, irritation here. What are you holding on to? Where can you let this go? Today is the perfect day. Make sure you write down some intentions tonight and that full moon energy, even if you can't get out, because I haven't been out since I got here. It's freezing in Chicago, so I'm staying in, so I'll just know the moon is out there. And then, oops, sorry. Then we get the star card, and so what this card is telling me is it's time for you to open your arms wide to receive, which is just arms open wide. It's really about receptivity and the law of attraction and how using your intuition can really allow you to receive divine wisdom and divine guidance. And so that's what my next book is about, but we'll talk about that in announcements. So here you are, arms open wide. Allow yourself to shine now. Be in your true self. Break down all the barriers. This is the time when we get to let go. Again, we are marching very swiftly into a new year. 2014 is sure to be a amazing time of shift. And, you know, this is also about karma. This is about karma. This is also about letting go of past lives even. If a lot of you have been feeling a little bit riled up with things and realizing big life lessons and like a life review, this is why, because our karma again has really been playing out this year. So that's what this card is saying. You've passed, you've made it through, you've allowed yourself to get here so you can heal and now it's your time to shine. So that star card is amazing. And again, with this being a full moon,